Мать президента покидая церковь, где происходило богослужение.
Соединенные Штатов Америки Джона Фиджеральда Кеннеди посвящается эта передача. Смерть Джона Фиджеральда Кеннеди, выдающегося государственного деятеля президента Соединенных Штатов Америки, является тяжелым ударом для всех людей, которым дорого дело мира и советско-американского сотрудничества. Советское правительство и советский народ разделяют скорбь американского народа по поводу трагической кончины президента Кеннеди. С любезного согласия посольства Соединенных Штатов Америки в Советском Союзе мы предлагаем вашему вниманию, уважаемые телезрители, два документальных фильма, отражающих деятельность человека, облеченного высшей государственной властью, человека широких взглядов, реально оценивавшего обстановку, стремившегося найти пути решения международных проблем посредством переговоров. Президент Джон Кеннеди сознавал необходимость мирного урегулирования между Востоком и Западом. Он подчеркивал особую ответственность за сохранение мира, лежащую на Соединенных Штатах и Советском Союзе. И сделал он это с первых же минут вступления на пост президента Соединенных Штатов Америки. Президенты и канцелярия президента Соединенных Штатов. В ноябре прошлого года около 7 миллионов американских граждан тайным голосованием определили, кто займет это кресло. Определили, на кого будут возложены обязанности, связанные с этим высоким положением. Выбор пал на Джона Фитчерол Кеннеди, самого молодого народного избранника. Он по прямой линии преемник Джорджа Вашингтона, первого президента и единственного президента, избранного единогласно. Он следует за Томасом Джефферсоном, основоположником американской демократии. Вы видите тест-таблицу станции NBC телевизионной из Нью-Йорка. Вот началась прямая телевизионная передача. Тело президента Кеннеди составляется белый дом. Гроб телом президента движется к скорой помощи. Тело сопровождает супруга президента. Супруга президента, супруга президента выходит из машины. И гроб с телом покойного вносится в белый дом. У гроба с телом почетный караул. Члены семьи президента прощаются с телом. Прощание с президентом будет продолжаться 24 часа. Mr. Shaw, you're an American tourist here. How did you first get the news of the president's death? Our guide this morning at 11 o'clock told us about this horrible thing, and we were simply shocked. 
I had to go over to the United States Embassy to verify it. I was so strange. How did she tell you? What was her reaction? Had you heard about the terrible tragedy? And I said, what was? What happened? What tragedy? She said, your president has been killed. With that, I was deeply moved. I told my wife she couldn't get over the shock and started crying. I've had a deep feeling all day with a lump in my throat. I just can't believe it right now. I, Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Khrushchev were working on this wonderful project of peace in this world. I wonder what's going to happen to it now. I hope our next president, Mr. Johnson, continues his good work. Uh, at this very moment, uh, I still can't believe that this wonderful man, that anybody could do this to this wonderful man, Mr. Kennedy. Cut. Mr. Shaw, you've had a chance to talk to Russians since this tragedy occurred. What's their feeling? The few Russians that are able to speak English have all told me oh, what deep sympathy they have, and they are truly very sorry. They also appreciate the greatness of our president, Mr. Kennedy, who isn't with us anymore. A taxi cab driver who knew a few words of English said, we have lost a good friend. This was a tremendous sentiment from a man driving a taxi cab. Thank you, sir. These two Americans are exchange students. They're uh, here in the Soviet Union as part of the Soviet American Cultural Exchange Program. Uh, how did you first get the news? Uh, I came downstairs <coughs> this morning to uh, exchange some money at the uh, bank here, and uh, I happened to notice the article in Pravda, and this was the first that I had seen it, and uh, I didn't believe it. <laughs> I walked out and uh, uh, went back in to, to read the article again, and then I told uh, Dr. White here. Doctor? Dr. Uh, Dr. Renninger, after after informing me, uh, <coughs> well, I, I simply didn't believe him. We both proceeded to the to the academy, the institute, and uh, there all the scientists greeted us with uh, reactions of, of shock and condolence and uh, were extremely sy sympathetic. Our reaction was of disbelief. Yeah. Gentlemen, I'd like to ask you, what was the reaction of your colleagues in the Soviet uh, Academy of Science? Uh, they were, they were in, in general, very, very upset and uh, shocked at, at uh, the the fact that this could happen in the 20th century in the United States, many of them uh, expressed the belief that uh, that under uh, Kennedy's or during Kennedy's administration, that the uh, relations between the two countries would be much improved, and, and were very upset by the fact that he had been uh, assassinated because they felt that this might mean the the uh, termination of the efforts to improve relations. How do you feel the reaction uh, of the, your Soviet colleagues uh, were to this news? The, uh, the scientists were all shocked and extremely upset, and most of them were wondering primarily whether the uh, uh, liberal, liberal uh, uh, tendencies of the present administration could be, could be followed through in the next, after the next election. Also, um, many of them were shocked to discover that, uh, that it was a simple matter for Americans to, to possess weapons uh, in there in, as, their, as their private. What was the reaction in the Institute, the Soviet Institute, that you uh, gentlemen uh, uh, are uh, conducting your studies at when they heard the news of uh, the president's death? Well, they, they all seemed to be uh, deeply shocked and uh, expressed uh, regret. Everyone whom we met during the morning uh, came up to us and expressed their condolences uh, uh, about the, the tragedy. and. Uh, as a matter of fact, probably no work was done during the day at all. Uh, several of the physicists uh, spoke to us as we came in, and then others who came in later uh, also expressed their condolences and and uh, and were deeply shocked and moved. Uh, all of them, all of them, thought it was a very tragic event. Uh, we saw, we did happen to see the the first reaction of one or two of them who had not heard the news before they came, and it was certainly one of uh, of shock and uh, sort of gen genuine. Uh, shock <laughs> really was they uh, a number of them seemed to feel that uh, during Kennedy's administration the relations between the two countries would would uh, improve and, and now they are doubtful or have doubts about whether the condition will continue as it had while Kennedy was alive what do you think do you think this will have any effect on Soviet American relations uh, it's hard to tell uh, for the present administration probably not it, it depends upon of course who uh, is elected president in 64 uh, there are, there are tendencies which would uh, uh, tend to decrease the amount of relationship between the, the two countries, I think, and it depends on who's elected. 
Doctor, did you get any reaction on uh, Lyndon Johnson? What do they feel about uh, the vice president, or now the president? Uh, the uh, primary reaction was one of, of uh, not knowing what exactly his political situation was, and most of them were extremely concerned as to whether he was as liberal in his foreign policy and as, uh, you know, as conducive to maintaining relations with the Soviet Union as President Kennedy had been. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'd like to ask you, sir, uh, how you feel about the news of the president's death. I would like to ask you a question. What do you think about the death of President Kennedy? I heard about the death of President Kennedy, and I was very excited. Потому что такое действие было очень неожиданным. И э, президент Соединенных Штатов Америки Кеннеди пользовался уважением и авторитетом не только Соединенных Штатов Америки, и далеко за его пределами, в частности, в Советском Союзе, благодаря своим действиям, направленным на укрепление мира между всеми народами. Поэтому мои чувства были очень э, сильны в том, что я выражал негодование по этому поводу. Когда я услышал вас первый раз, я был шок. Позже я был Uh, because the President Kennedy was very popular, not only in his own country, but in the Soviet Union and in many other countries, for his fiscal policy, and because he was uh, trying to do his utmost for uh, the better relations between our two countries and for the peace in the whole world. Do you think that the President's death will have any effect on Soviet-American relations? What do you think? Will it affect the death of the President on the relations between the Soviet Union and the United States of America? Actually, we see some Убийство президента Кеннеди является политическим актом. Те определенные круги, которые имеют Соединенные Штаты Америки, которые выступали против линии президента США, они сейчас будут в какой-то степени активизироваться и пожелают вести политику Соединенных Штатов Америки от того пути, на котором он был. Но я лично думаю, что разум и талант для американского народа, в том числе, что возьмет верх, и линия, которую проводили президента Кеннеди, она будет продолжена. Uh, uh, for me, it's quite clear that assassination of the American president was a political act. And now, after his death, those reactionary forces who do exist in the States will uh, try to change Kennedy's li line uh, directed towards the friendship with the Soviet Union. But I think, anyhow, that uh, uh, the American uh, uh, hardworking and talented people will, uh, in the end, will follow uh, the policy of the late president. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you're a student of the uh, Soviet Foreign Language Institute. Yes, right I am. Oh, sorry. You're a student of the Soviet Foreign Language Institute. Yes, I am. I'm a student of the Institute of Foreign Languages in Moscow. I'm studying in the, the first course. Well, I, I'd like to ask you this. Uh, how did you feel when you heard the news that the president was dead? When I knew the news, I had a great shock about this new and uh, I liked very much President Kennedy and uh, I had a great shock uh, when I knew about this death. How about your fellow students? How, how did they feel? My friends uh, had a great shock too when they knew about his death. Do you think this will create a problem between your country and mine in Soviet-American relations because the president is dead? Yes, I think so. Why? Uh, I can't uh, take you now a definite answer in the short term because it's rather difficult it's somewhat difficult to answer you, but I feel so. I feel so. So the, the President Kennedy was a great man, and uh, he was a great representative of America. And uh, I think that his death uh, will, will change the <coughs> relations between our country. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. That's all. This gentleman is from the Soviet Republic of Armenia. I'd like to ask you uh, your reaction, your feelings when you heard the news. Скажите, пожалуйста, как вы восприняли весть об убийстве президента Кеннеди? Я думаю, что убийство президента Кеннеди является 
большой трагедии для американского народа. Но надо сказать, что результат последней его деятельности оставляет такое мнение у нас, советских людей, что мы могли бы ко многому прийти, тем более, что сделаны первые шаги. И то положительное, так сказать, предстоящее будущее, к сожалению, нарушено. Хотелось бы надеяться, что новый президент продолжит те национальные начинания, которые заложил президент Трумэн. Ну и президент, извините, Кеннеди, да. I think the assassination of the president Kennedy is a tragedy for the whole American nation. But I would like to add that president did his utmost to improve relations between the two our countries. And I think what he did will be followed and will be developed by his successor, by the new president of the United States. Thank you very much. Спасибо. This is Sam Jaffe in the largest hotel in Moscow, the Ukraine. I came here to get reactions from average Soviets uh, Russians, uh, a man from Armenia, and Americans, American travelers here, on their reaction. Cut, sorry. This is Sam Jaffe in the largest Moscow hotel, the lobby of the Ukraine. I came here to get reactions from Soviets uh, and from Americans who are visiting here to the tragic death of the President of the United States. Sorrow and grief, that's the only way to describe the feelings of the Russian people that I've talked to on the death of President Kennedy. Early today, Premier Khrushchev paid an official visit on Ambassador Kohler at the American resident, Sasso House. The chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Soviet Union signed the guest book along with Soviet Foreign Minister Gromyko and then had a 19-minute talk, a private talk, with Ambassador Kohler. Chairman Khrushchev looked very, very strained Obviously, he hadn't slept. When he came out, he shook the hands of several newsmen, including mine, and nodded very, very sadly. The Soviet people... The Soviet people know about the death of the president. Uh, I've had many calls from Russians. One woman telephoned and broke down on the telephone. She started to cry. She said, I'll call you tomorrow. They have lined up all day in queues, long queues, for the latest word, for newspapers, to read about the death of the president. And that word has uh, been published on the front page of every Moscow newspaper with the president's picture. Russians read this news eagerly. And yet these Russians are afraid. They're very much afraid. They think, the ones I've talked to, that a change in administration may be a change in Soviet-American relations. Sam Jaffe, ABC, Moscow. The question in Moscow today is, will Soviet policy change because of the death of the President of the United States. There's a lot of thinking here, and I'm sure a lot of thinking in the Kremlin. The hopes are that the President, the new President, Lyndon Johnson, will carry on in the footsteps of President Kennedy, a man that Russians, officials, and the man on the street alike felt was bettering the relationship between the Soviet Union and the United States. But the Russians are worried. One told me, the death of the President has started a trend of fascism in your country. They are very, very worried. What the Kremlin is thinking now is anybody's guess, but it is hoped, and it is hoped that there will be a better policy toward the United States, even with the new president, Lyndon Johnson. Sam Jaffe, ABC, Moscow. President Kennedy is dead. President Kennedy is dead. And Russians here in Moscow are wondering, is the policy of the president toward the United States dead too? There is fear here on the part of average Russians and Soviet officials that with the new president, Lyndon Johnson, there will be a change in policy. The Russians like Kennedy. There's no question about it. I saw people with tears in their eyes today. But now the question remains, will policy change? As far as we can understand here, Soviet policy will remain the same, that of their line of peaceful coexistence. Sam Jaffe, ABC, Moscow.